my son Matthew, I'm gonna play pointer. He was rather uncoordinated and wore braces from the age of 13 until the day he died. However, his all too brief life, he proved that he was a winner. On October 6th, 1998, my son tried to show the world he could win again. On October 12th, 1998, my firstborn son, and my hero, lost. On October 12th, 1998, my firstborn son and my hero died. 55 days before his 22nd birthday. I keep wondering the same thing I did when I first saw him in the hospital. What we have become. How could he have changed his piece of the world to make it better? Matt officially died in a hospital in Fort Collins, Colorado. He actually died on the outskirts of Barmy, tied to a fence. You, Mr. McKinney, with your friend, Mr. Henderson, left him out there by himself. But he wasn't alone. There were his lifelong friends with him. Friends that he had grown up with. You're probably wondering who these friends were. First, he had the beautiful night sky and the same stars and moon that we saw through a telescope together. Then he had the daylight and the sun to shine on him. And through it all, he was breathing in the scent of pine trees from the snowy range. He was breathing in the ever He was breathing in the scent of pine trees from the snowy range. He heard the wind, the ever-present Wyoming wind, for the last time. He had one more friend with him. He had God. And I feel better knowing that he wasn't alone. Matt's beating, hospitalization, and fun funeral focused worldwide attention on hate. Good is coming out of evil. People have said, enough is enough. I miss my son, but I am proud to be able to say that he is my son. It's been said that Judy's is against the death penalty. It's been said that Matt was against the death penalty. Both of these statements are wrong. Matt believed that there were crimes and incidents that justified the death penalty. I too believe in the death penalty. I would like nothing more than to see you die, Mr. McKinney. However, this is the time to begin the healing process. To show mercy to someone who refused to show any mercy. Mr. McKinney, I'm going to grant you life. As hard as it is for me to do so because of Matthew. Every time you celebrate Christmas, the 4th of July, a birthday, remember that Matt isn't. Every time you wake up in your prison cell, remember that you had the opportunity and the ability to stop your actions that night. You robbed me of something very precious, and I will never forgive you for that. Mr. McKinney, I give you life in the memory of one who, of who no longer lives. May you live a long life. May you thank Matthew every day for it. I end.